Well, hey everybody, happy freaking Friday. I uh, hope you had a great week. Uh, we sure did, uh, but we are very glad that it's going to be the weekend and uh, a fun-filled adventure with uh, Maddie having a big volleyball tournament this weekend, and um, I'm sure there's going to be lots of other chaos. So I'm going to start off the weekend for us with uh, going old school. So I know a lot of the breakers online do throwback Thursdays, I'm going to say throwback Friday. We are going to open some 1983 Fleer, uh, which this is a really fun one for me because I can remember as a kid, these were too expensive for me. You can see they were 49 cents per pack. If you can see that up top there. Uh, and these were in the uh, cello packs. So you'll see no gum this time. Uh, I've watched some of these old school breakers uh, online um, eating gum out of the old packs if they hit one of the big dogs. Luckily, I don't have to do that. Uh, but we're going to open up, I don't know, there's 24 packs. I guess we'll open up eight of these guys. So we'll do one stack of them here just to get us started. And uh, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff in here. So three, four, five, six. I'll do two more off that other stack. Um, there's going to be some really neat stuff in here. So this is Tony Gwynn's rookie year. This is Wade Boggs' rookie year, among others. Uh, a lot of Hall of Famers should be in these packs. Um, and with these cello packs, the good news is, is we don't have to worry about there being wax stains on them. Uh, maybe a little bit on the back occasionally. Uh, and the condition of these looks pretty good. I got these from uh, my local hobby shop here in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, he had these stored away in the back for me. I told him I like opening up some old cards occasionally. And I've gotten some 87s from him and some 86s and some 85s. But when he said he had the 83 coming in, I said, ah, yep, put my name on that. Uh, we're going to open some of these bo bad boys up. Hopefully these aren't um, something somebody's already sorted through and repacked, but uh, you never know. So without further ado, pack number one. And you will see occasionally, man, this one's got a little bit of damage on the side, which, you know, these things have been stored up for 40 years. Uh, they don't age like fine wine, unfortunately. So first one, Dan Ford, Bob Booner. We're going to look for some Hall of Famers in here. Max Venable, Bill Lasky. Nothing yet. And then there's our little Fleer inserts. They like to do uh, these little insert stickers. I can remember opening so much of that as 1987, 88, 89. I had stickers all over the darn place. There's Don Sutton, Charlie Librant. There's Tom Seaver, Hall of Famer. Willie Hernandez, there's Pedro Guerrero, Chet Lemon, there we go, Mike Schmidt, there's our first decent little hit. That car's got a little bit of damage on the edge there, hopefully we don't have a lot of that. And there's the wrong Boggs, we got Tommy Boggs, we're looking for Wade. So three of them out of that first pack, and we'll go to pack number two. This one had a little 80s checklist card on the front. Tell you, that's, that's one thing, um, these newer cards, they're doing checklists now, but they do them team by team, which I actually kind of like. And you know what? There's the Cincinnati Reds checklist card. You can see there's Tom Seaver on it, at Willie Wilson. And there's a good one, George Brett. And that one's got a little bit of a wing here on the edge. Hopefully we get past those and we don't have damage on all our cards. And we're chasing after that Tony Gwynn. So we looked it up beforehand, Melissa and I, and if you get one in really good condition, PSA 9, PSA 10, which is pretty rare for these old cards, uh, it's anywhere from 100 to about a $500 card. Uh, Wade Boggs, same thing, you know, 70 80 $90 for a PSA 9. Uh, so one can hope. And there's a Keith Hernandez. See, he had a lot of years under him at that point. So with the Cardinals. Pack number three. The good thing is, is that plastic, I can remember when we used to open these way back in the day, is it was a pain in the butt to get off, but I guess sitting in the box for 40 years, 
Christmas. Oh, and there we go. Timmy Raines, 1983 Fleer. That looks like his fourth year card. Like that. That's something we will definitely put into a sleeve and check out for later. Give these things a good looking over. Larry Christensen, Dave LaRoche. There's Ken Griffey, senior. Jack O'Connor. Nothing too big so far. Tim Raines, that's still a good card. Looks like they're in pretty good condition. Centering's okay. It's a little off left to right, but all in all, I'm impressed. That's not too bad. Next one here. Phil Negro. Holly Backman. There we go. That's actually a good hit. So any of these older Nolan Ryans, these tend to be a really good card. And looking at the surface, this one's in good shape. I don't see any damage on it. Back looks pretty good. It's pretty well centered. That might be a grading contender. We'll take a better look at it later, but that's one of the hits we're always looking for. And then we got a Dave Henderson as well. And that is, I believe, his rookie too. That is correct. 1983, so that was Dave Henderson's rookie year. So that's a good hit for us. And Carlton Fisk, man. I can remember having like a thousand of his cards when I was a kid. Uh, felt like he played for a thousand years. Looks like his rookie year would have been 1970-71. Um, I think I might even had one of his rookie cards at one point in time. It's a very cool Hall of Famer. We will add that one to the collection. And feel free down in the comments, tell me if there's anybody in here that used to be your chase card, I'd love to hear it. There's Murray Soto. For any of you old timers watching this. And there's Rod Carew, really cool. Uh, that one's super off-centered, uh, but still, Rod Carew, Hall of Famer. Uh, funny, we have been opening some of that uh, newer product, and they like to put Rod Carew in there as the inserts for the Hall of Famer. And for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, we started this up uh, because my son Liam is really starting to get into sports cards, and it took me back to time a long time ago when I was a kid and opening up packs and chasing after my players and Liam got really excited about it and I got excited about it. Well then he, Liam asked me to uh, start up a little, oh and there's Jim Rice, another Hall of Famer. That's actually a really good card but it is off-centered, off-centered off big time left to right. Uh, anyway, he decided he wanted to open up an eBay store and I said sure let's do it. So we pulled a bunch of his cards and all of a sudden we started finding like some of his old Pokemon cards they actually had some value. And uh, long, oh, and there's the one of my guys that used to be my big chase. Uh, Eddie Murray uh, was one of my favorites. That was my first big pull ever when I was a kid. Was anybody out there remember 1978 Eddie Murray? Uh, that's the most I've really wanted to to spend on one was to get a a PSA 7, uh, just because those are pretty darn expensive nowadays. Uh, but anyway, it's fun to have that in my personal collection, so I'm glad to see old Eddie Murray in there, another Hall of Famer. There's Dale Murray, not the one Dale we're looking for. But anyway, so we opened up an eBay store, started selling a bunch of cards on there, uh, and real quick realized, you know what, this is kind of fun. We can build our personal collection, sell off the stuff we don't want to people that might be chasing after it. And so Liam's going after his Acunas and Juan Sotos. And I got to pull uh, some of my Don Mattingly cards and get those sent off for grading. And we've got those slabbed up. And uh, we've we've built us a, a nice little collection. And Harold Baines, and I think, yeah, he's a few years deep at that point. But Harold Baines, that was somebody I always liked to pull. 
Steve Henderson. Jack Morris, another Hall of Famer. Yeah, and he, I think Jack's back into the 70s, so he would have been 79, I believe. Yeah, it looks like he moved over from the Miners over to the Tigers in 79. Then Ozzie Virgil. Alan Ashby. Joel Youngblood. One more pack in this first opening. We're going to do two more of these things since these... Uh, these solo packs have so many cards in a box. Um, but anyway, feel free to check us out. Uh, if you like what we're doing, feel free to comment down below. Um, love to hear from people that enjoy watching this kind of stuff. I know Liam and I have really enjoyed watching our favorite breakers. And uh, we've had a lot of fun chasing after the people we like to chase after. And we Hope to do lots more of this. We usually do new card content, but this one was for me and some of the old guys. And there's Steve Carlton. Old Steve Carlton. That one's actually a really, really good shape card. A little off-center left to right, but all in all, color looks good. Back looks really good. Check that one out better as well. And there's Dave Rietti. I believe that is Dave's rookie. It, I'm not sure if he had an 82 card. I feel like I remember the 1983 Topps Day Rietti being one of the big ones when I was a kid. Um, yeah, I'll have to look that one up as well. Another checklist card there in the back. Well, feel free to like and subscribe, all you guys out there in the YouTube land. Uh, you can see we're going to get some of these sleeved up and put into some hard cases. And we got our giant stack of commons over here. So if anybody has any interest in any of those comments, check us out at Superfly Collectibles SC on eBay. And uh, we actually just started up a Whatnot uh, channel today. So we're going to check out Whatnot. We keep hearing about it, see how that does for us. And any advice on any of that stuff, we are glad to take. So thank you guys so much and have a great weekend.